All right, uh, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use a great program. Uh, it's very small, uh, but it works very effectively. It's called CC Cleaner, and what it does is it takes all the junk files and removes them off your PC. You can use an analyze feature that will analyze uh, the files. It will show you what it's going to delete, so you can make the decision if you want to delete them or not. And there you go. It's called CC Cleaner. So let's get started. CC Cleaner. Search into the Google search engine. Click on CC Cleaner. Uh, as you can see right here, we have a little download cleaner now. Uh, right here we have download the, from File Hippo. It's a perfect little spot. Very quick. Uh, it's only three. As I said, small. 3.14 megabytes. So very very small. <laughs> and as you can see, freeware. Uh, which is fantastic. So there's no spyware, there's nothing attached to this, there's no advertising, there's nothing. There's n In a month from now they're not going to ask you to buy it. It's 100% free. So download. Uh, as you can see this is Vista, so we get this happy little download file thing. So I just left clicked, hit download file. This is where it, it's up to you. You can decide to go ahead and just run it but if you're a little more precautious and you want to make sure there's no virus or anything on it you can go ahead and save it to your desktop and then right click on it and then you should have a choice if you have an antivirus on to scan this file or whatever and there you go but I, I know this file is trusted it's, uh, it has nothing so I'm just going to run it as you can see it downloads lightning quick because we're only talking 3.1 I mean it might vary depending on your internet connection Good old Vista, tell me, do I am I sure? <laughs> and I am, so uh, it's gonna go ahead and start working its magic. Uh, language English, yes. Uh, just you know, so this is the wizard. Uh, this is the license. You can read it if you want or not. And just click by agree. Uh, destination folder. Um, this is a good spot for it because uh, that's the you know standard program files. So we'll go ahead and um, click next. Okay, this is where you can basically make a choice if you want to have desktop shortcuts and a start menu short up. Now your desktop, yeah, right here, it will just pop a CC cleaner icon right there for you to go ahead and click on, or it, the startup menu one will be in here. I'll just have another CC cleaner. Uh, I don't want either, because uh, what I do is I put it on the recycle bin, which is these two options which is run and open. Run just means it's going to do the program, clean out the files. I do that a lot because I don't need to see it. I, I trust it. I know it's going to wipe out the, the files I need. And then open means it's going to open up the program and then <clears throat> then from there if you want to analyze the files, see what you have and then you can run it and then it'll wipe those clean. Um, automatically check for updates. Uh, you know, I guess you could leave it on. I have, you just go ahead and access it and update. I'm not going to do it. Um, and then the toolbar. I, I don't like any toolbar. Uh, even if it's as clean and simple as this one, I never really tried it out. You're welcome to go ahead and do so. I've not played with it. I don't like anything that can lag up my internet, even just a smidge. I like to have fast running internet. And so if I have some extra files that are kind of lagging it up as I'm going that this would clean up, I, you know, when I, when I run my cleaner every couple of days, it'll get rid of those, so no big deal. All right, we're installing. Bing, we're done. And that's it. So. Now we're going to go ahead and open it. Let's go, uh, <laughs> see I didn't, I didn't put those shortcuts, so I, I kind of made the assumption. <laughs> it's right here. Okay, so as I said, we can go open CC Cleaner, hit continue, then I'm just going to maximize it. And then uh, as you can see, <clears throat> this shows you off to the left what it removes. So here's the standard kind of stuff, Internet Explorer, Temporary Internet Files, Cookies, History, all that kind of good stuff, but then this is where it kind of it goes over and above with the Internet Explorer, the recent documents, stuff in your run, uh, other Explorer MRUs, and then in your system it really you know digs down and, and gets rid of the files that are not needed. So I haven't really you know I just ran a CC cleaner a little bit ago, so I'm sure it's not gonna really pop up with anything. We'll hit and analyze. Uh, should just be a second. See what it comes up with. Okay, there we go. And crazy enough, I just ran this earlier and it just came up with 362 megabytes. 
that's great. You know, imagine a person who hasn't cleaned in a month. You could have a gig of, uh, of, of data files if you do quite a bit of searching online. As you can see, it's kind of showing me what all I've done, what I loaded, uh, stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Run Cleaner because that's the analysis as you can see. So it hasn't wiped anything clean, it's just showed us what could be removed. I'm gonna click OK and I'll whip it through real quick. And those 316 files are gone. Here we go. Bing, or 380, excuse me. Done, that's it you guys. Hope that helped. If it did, please subscribe. I'll be posting up more videos. Uh, rate if you liked it and comment if you have any other questions or anything. Thank you.